I just got back from that Pilates class. That was my last one. Um, I don't know if I said it on here or not, but for my birthday, Margot got me three passes to like a local Pilates studio just because she knew that I'd wanted to try it for so long, but it wasn't something that I was like willing to splurge on and buy myself because I already have a gym membership. I know that obviously all Pilates gyms are different and I've spoken to so many people who freaking love it, but I think I'm just like too high paced for that. But yeah, super relaxing and definitely good to change it up from the usual like high intensity hit that I usually do. I'm actually just currently sitting in my spare room. I've been organizing some clothes and I'm just about to take photos of things that I'm going to sell on my Instagram. So if you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I usually try and sell my clothes over on my stories first before Depop. Just because I find more people see it that way and they sell so much faster. Once I finish sorting through and taking photos of the clothes that I'm gonna sell, at 9.30, my friend Tom is picking me and the girls up and we're actually heading away for a few days. Um, we're going to a place called Rainbow Beach, which is like kind of close. Um, it's about an hour and a half, two hour drive from where we live. Um, the boys have like totally organized and booked this thing on their own. So I don't really know what to expect, but I think it'll be fun anyways. I've never actually been there before, um, but because all of my friends are at uni, it's mid sem break. Super excited. I have just hopped out of the shower and done my skincare. I'm still following the same skincare routine that I shared a few vlogs back and I've actually just repurchased a few of the ordinary products it was really working for me um but I shared yesterday that I don't know what it is but lately I've been breaking out a little bit more again still nothing nowhere near as bad as what I was I actually went and had a facial yesterday and I think it's helped a whole lot when I posted about it on my Instagram I had so many people reply and say that they were also experiencing the same thing but then I also had this one girl say that it's really common as you're entering your 20s um, with the increase of hormones and stuff, your skin will sometimes break out a little more than you're used to. So I guess I'm kind of just riding the wave. Um, but yeah, I feel like that facial yesterday really, really helped. The joys of being a girl. Love that. Time has definitely gotten the better of me this morning. Didn't end up having any time to shoot any of the clothes that I want to sell. But I did manage to just sort through and decide what I wanted to get rid of. But it is like 9.25 and everybody's actually outside waiting for me. I've already loaded my bags into the car and everything. This is my outfit. Um, this is a super old linen black shirt. Don't actually remember where it's from. And then these white shorts are from General Pants, I'm pretty sure. Also, my glasses are from Beckenbridge. A lot of people usually ask about that. Vegay time, baby! sure how much like talking I'm gonna do to the camera but <laughs> the boys have booked the coolest apartment I'll give you guys a quick little tour but yeah I think the rest will just be probably montage footage um, we're only here for a few nights Maddie and I are in the master bedroom how nice is this <laughs> yesterday I found us these matching rainbow beach t-shirts yours has a stain on it from dinner last night all six of us have matching holiday shirts <laughs> Pretty, I think. I love Come join the body. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're gonna go and grab coffee pretty soon. Yeah, nice. 
Sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> These birds are crazy. Well, if you take it from only one place, it becomes rigid and stale. Understanding others, the other elements, and the other nations will help you become whole. This morning I am off to a vintage like kind of secondhand clothing market with Maddie. It's a little bit of a drive away, um, but hopefully it's worth it. There's like heaps of cool brands there. This is my outfit. I actually rediscovered this top the other day. It was like one of my favorites last summer. I got it from Zara, but like two years ago. Um, but yeah, my jeans are from Cotton On. I'm wearing my Doc sandals. And then I've just got a bikini top underneath because I need to wear a bra with this top, but it doesn't look that nice with a regular bra. Holy pancakes. Sexy. Yum! Thanks, <laughs> This literally makes me the happiest person in the world. I just got back from the market. Or well, not just, it was actually a few hours ago. And Maddie has gone home as well. I kind of wish she was still here though because she got some really good stuff um, and I would have liked to have shown you guys. But anyways, um, I'm gonna show you what I got. <laughs> it was way too hectic to film. There was just like so many people everywhere and everybody was just scrambling. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of in the zone. and didn't film anything, but I'll show you what I got. The first thing that I got was this singlet from Tree of Life and it was only $5, which I thought was such a score. In summer, I just live in tops like this. They're so easy and go with so many different bottoms. I'll probably just wear this most of the time with denim shorts though. I then got these two pairs of pants, which are actually both exactly the same style, but just in different colors. They're by a brand, Lilia, which I don't really think I've ever heard of before. Um, I really liked how these fit me. I always struggle to find pants that are long enough and fit my waist. So these are perfect. Um, and I love this baby like pink purpley color. This color is a little bit more everyday. They're just a chocolate brown. And I actually ended up wearing them home from the market, which is why they're a little bit creased. Big fan of those pants. And then the last thing I got, which I was freaking stoked about, were these Adidas trainers. These were only $35 and they've literally been worn probably once. They're in such perfect condition. They're probably about half a size too big for me, but honestly, I'm not faced. They're so nice and I love the color of them. That was everything I got. Not the most exciting thing, but I thought I would show you anyways. I think it was on my last video that I did with Princess Polly. Someone made a really good point in the comments that I should try and do a like thrift haul. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and work on that. The op shops where I live aren't really good, but we do have quite a few good vintage markets that pop up here and there. I'm definitely not perfect at buying sustainable, but I'm trying to get better. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. It's getting a little bit long um, and I also want to start a new vlog tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Also, we are so close to 20k, which just blows my mind. I feel like I was only at a thousand subscribers like two months ago. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Thanks for subscribing if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.